Uncle Chuck never makes his bed. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. I'd better not touch it. Uncle Chuck gets real angry if I'm too nosy. Why not plush toys? I'd better hold on to this. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! The fireplace looks very clean. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing in there's nothing in there's nothing inside. They look pretty old. I think I see mold growing on one. Carefully handling broken glass? If this were a Sierra Online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay? Sure would like to work there. The glass is now filled with water. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. going to drink from something without reading the label? Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. The ink bottle is now mostly full with gas.
It's a couple of uncancelled stamps. Still sticky. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. It's the archway leading to the second. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. It doesn't work with that. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? It's that letter for you, Uncle Chuck. Didn't you already give that to me? Yes, but I thought you should hold on to it. Good idea, Dolores. And thank you for saving me the trouble of unsealing it. You know how much I hate opening mail. Just down the hall is the big staircase. Dig in! How exciting! I hope I get the job. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Diggin! Diggin! It's a letter from the mucus phlegm. Did I get the job? I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. It's a can of Poopsie. I don't feel like the taste for a non-trainbark infringing Poopsie now. I don't feel like the taste for a non-trainbark infringing Poopsie now. I don't want to use it with that. Still impressive. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, 
That means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... I can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck about my job offer. He'll be so proud. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. Your what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... Uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future, you are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. I see the rest... It's Main Street. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compatible. From a six pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can.
It's a very dark and smelly flight of stairs. It's a very... It's a color copy Tron 3000. It's a map of the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a Fed. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much, just what I heard over the police scanner body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? <sighs> you? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of... odd to Reno. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Intriguing. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Acne intervention. Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there, the Copytron 3000. Then... Keep going. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. Do you offer home delivery? Why? Do you plan on moving here? Not a chance. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a man on the road making threatening gestures. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. You got any gluten-free donuts? I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? 
Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronic Playboy? Do you know anything about the body or not? What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. I can see something is in your pocket. <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It looks like something with blood on it. That's not blood, just river mud. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um... Well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't care. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before his career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way, for now. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? You got any gluten-free donuts?